Hello everybody, I'm super excited to be talking about this fragrance because so many of you have requested this video for almost a year. So here it is, Herba Pura by Sershoff. And I have to say, this is definitely the coolest bottle I have ever seen. Hands down, when I put this bottle in the collection behind me, it's gonna be the nicest looking bottle there. And the thing is, I made a video a couple days ago about this one right here. It's called Sexy Eyes by Blackcliff, and I just really admire the bottle design. But after opening up Herba Pura, this wins hands down. And maybe it's a biased opinion of mine, but it kind of reminds me of the Chargers, so I love it. But anyways, what does this fragrance smell like? It smells like a fruity, sweet, yet synthetic sort of fragrance. And I'll get into that, but just real quick, I'll put a discount link for this scent in the description box in case you want to try to get a sample or a bottle of it wherever you are, because it's global shipping. But anyways, this fragrance right here opens up with a little bit of citrus that dies down fairly quickly. Like you'll smell some lime, maybe some bergamot, but what really is the star of this fragrance is just that fruity concoction. Now, to me, this smells kind of similar to Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. That was the very first fragrance that popped into my mind when I smelled this scent. I was like, this is familiar. Oh, I have smelled this on my girlfriend before, you know? So if you like fragrances in that nature, then you're definitely going to love Herba Pura. Now, in the dry down of this fragrance, that's when the sweetness really starts to rally and it starts to pick up. And to me, I did smell some musk, which is kind of what made it smell a little bit powdery to my nose, honestly. But then there's also some nice vanilla in this fragrance as well. And even though this is a very dominant fruity fragrance, it is not something I would suggest you wear on a hot day. Even if it's fruity, this is a cold weather or a nighttime fragrance. I would say it kind of goes along the lines of Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marly, not in the way that they smell the same, but the fact that they have that dominant fruity note, but the sweetness really takes over. So it turns them more into like sexy nighttime fragrances. So if you want to wear that scent that has that head turning reaction, but it's still fun and lively, you know, if like it, then give this one a try, most definitely, because it has that mass appeal. But I will say, this is a heads up for anybody that is sensitive to fragrance, I would maybe say instead of blind buying, get a sample of it because this thing was even intense for me. I did about one spray of this fragrance on my arm and I kid you not, it was still on my arm 10 hours later. And I tried scrubbing it off because this wasn't my favorite thing to wear only because it got a bit too overwhelming for me. So I wanted the scent to kind of die down a little bit. And I was like scrubbing the inside of my elbow with like Dove soap, hoping that it would come off and it didn't. And I still smelled it wafting around me 10 hours later. So you do not have to worry about performance with this fragrance because I promise you, you're gonna get it. You don't, like I don't list fragrances as head turning scents if they don't pass that like scrub test, you know? So this is something that will stay with you the whole night even until the next morning. And if you spray this on your clothes, I swear, even after you run your laundry, you're gonna smell this scent. Now, of course, like I said, scent sensitive people, be careful with this. But if you have no problem handling intense fragrances, absolutely go for this because it is a beast mode scent. Now, if you're talking about, if you want my opinion on whether or not I like this, I would much rather kind of prefer this fragrance on somebody else, maybe in passing, or maybe just one spray of it, because this does linger in the room, but it's also not my particular favorite fragrance. You know, I do love fruity scents, but this one smells just a little bit um, too synthetic for my loving. I'm not saying my liking because I do like this, but I just don't love it as much. I did find myself throughout the day being like, okay, I notice it, there it is, not bad, you know, but I wasn't constantly wanting to smell it over and over and over again. And I believe Herba Pura is marketed as a unisex fragrance, but in my eyes, this one definitely pulls more feminine. 
And for all the guys that want to try it, don't let that stop you because who knows, this can smell different on you. And there's actually, I believe there's more guys on YouTube have been asking me to review this because more guys on YouTube like to wear it, but more women on TikTok. Like TikTok is the, the women demographic that asked me to review this, but with YouTube, it was the guys that are like, oh, I love wearing Herba Pura. You have to try it. It's a gorgeous unisex fruity fragrance. And I can see that. So definitely give it a shot if you want to. But all in all, for what it is, a solid fragrance. Absolutely. I think that this would shine best if you're going for like a fun night time, like a nightlife sort of adventure or just like a party. You know, if you're trying to party it up and you're going to be dressed to the nines and you want a nice... I don't find this to be much of like a sexy fragrance, but it can be. Like to other people's noses, I could see how this would be just an absolute intoxicating fragrance. So I am going to put it in that category of being something that, you know, you wear out and you're looking confident, you're looking really sexy, you look great, and then you smell amazing and it's something that's absolutely pushing because this is an obnoxious fragrance. And I mean that in a very, very loving way. So let me know what you think of this scent in the comment section below. Thank you for requesting this video, all of you that have. Um, and let me know in the comments also which scents you want me to try from this house as well, or maybe just other fragrances in general. But again, the name of the fragrance and or, or the discount link, the name of the fragrance is in the title, but the discount link for this scent is in the description below with global shipping. And again, it's a like, not a love. But I love the other things about it, like the longevity and stuff, if that makes sense. Yeah, on other people. Let me specify that, because on me it was too overwhelming. On other people, you know. But yeah, there it is. Herba Pura, Serge Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.